Are you sure about this, Sandra? This place smells like blood. Molly, I've been here hundreds of times, and I'm alive and talking to you. It smells like this because of the metal rusting. I don't know about this. This place has been abandoned for years, Molly. Just chill out. Why did you think this was a good idea? Hey, look what I found. Oh, you're right, that is sick. Molly, this is one of those androids. I can see that. The operators. I, I didn't think the Orion War made it this far. You want to be a journalist, right? Yeah. Then get out your audio recorder and camera and document this place. I know you've been trying to help me kickstart my career, but I didn't need this kind of scoop. Trust me, nothing can go wrong. It's been nearly 10 years since the protectors and the operators disappeared. This could be a good scoop. This won't go down well. Nobody wants to be reminded of the Oscar androids. Oh, come on, please. <laughs> anyway, uh, look, look at the door up ahead. Changing the subject again. Let's just, let's just take a closer look to see if it's worthy of my time. The door looks quite mangled. Well, uh, best we turn in the opposite direction. Come on. Wait, don't do that. You'll get tetanus day too. Don't be stupid. That no longer exists. It died out like all the other viruses that tried to kill. It still doesn't look clean enough to touch. I can at least try. Hang on. Jesus, careful. Sorry, my bad. My kicks are still strong, eh? God, did you not pass your health and safety course at the University of Orion? <laughs> Shut up. Come on. I'm gonna die it now like it over with. What was that? On second thoughts, let's run. E excuse me, C could either of you be of assistance to me? Oh my god, it's one of them! It's damaged! I warn you, I'm armed! You... you harm? L little old me? No, my name is Oscar. Would you like a biscuit? Yes! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Doctor, don't do that again. Sorry, I'm reading a new book. So interesting. You know, I've always wanted to be a detective. Oh, like Sherlock Holmes? That would have been the case, but I'm not sure how to put it really. Here's an idea. You're too much like him. Thank you. How's the book going anyway? Well, Amelia Brooke and I would be good friends. Yeah, if they were real. Yes, well... Reality is but a concept, Nathan. Never forget that. There are dimensions of all shapes and sizes, one that go... Ones that go like that? Oh, it's always on that verse. No, no, what's going on now? Oh, the warning lights again. I'm gonna have to get rid of those. They never bloody stop. Well, you got your wish. If warning lights didn't annoy, let's listen to the bonging of large bells, surely. I don't think you understand the severity of the situation. The closer bell means either something terribly tragic has happened to the universe, or the TARDIS is under attack. Time for the battle stations. Battle stations? The best thing to do is try to discover what's causing the malfunction. Right on cue. Paradox detected dimensional readings unstable? What does that mean? Not sure, but it must be a big event for this to be happening. Whatever it is, my TARDIS is caught in the middle of it! Oh no, please tell me we aren't going to investigate it. The readings are unstable because the natural balance in the universe are trying to correct a fixed point. One that apparently causes a contaminated universe. Let's go and investigate. How? <sighs> the TARDIS isn't shifting. 
there is a small amount of residual power. The TARDIS reads a full event collapse. We can use this to materialize the ship in the heart of the problem. Will she make it? Always. I trust her. I'm fine, Nathan. It's safe. That's what you said last time, along with shadows can't harm you. The soldier lost a leg. A leg! He's lucky he didn't lose his life. Come on. Sometimes I wonder what you'd do if I actually died. <laughs> it's so dark, Doctor. Hang on. The Sonic has a torch? It's always had a torch. Doctor, what on earth is that? Keep behind me, Nathan. No need to ask twice. Hello? Is anyone out there? Does that better not be locusts? I hate locusts. We sued the Earth's government in the 45th century for that one. Didn't we, Nathan? Nathan? For the love of God. I tell him not to wander off, and every time we land... And what does he do? He disappears! I tell you, that boy's really ungrateful. <gasps> Hello? Hello? Is anyone there? Hello? Oh my god! Who are you? My name is Oscar. I... I remember you. That name is familiar. It is quite a common one. No, I mean... You're one of the operators. Ah, you do recognise me. That's excellent. But it's best not to distract from the main objective. And that is... Allow me to introduce a good friend. Oh, hello. Who are you? And why have you got me tied to a chair? Is this a fetish or something? That does not matter now. Please keep quiet to ensure that no pain is caused by the procedure. What, what, what procedure? This one. No. No. Help! Doctor! Nathan! 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 Where are you? Uh, hello? Are you alright? Get away from me, you mechanical monsters! You won't take me! You disappeared! You disappeared. You disappeared. You disappeared. I'm not gonna hurt you, please! You Tell me your name! I lost her. Lost her? Look! I was here with my son, who has gone missing. I don't suppose you could help me? Then he's dead too! My name is Molly. Right. What is yours? N Nathan. No. No hard feelings. But I'm afraid that our buddy Oscar needs the part of your brain that contains memory. This hard drive isn't large enough. You see? Ah, uh, no, please, I, I... Shh. It won't take a tick. What have you done to her? There's a data chip on the back of her ear and stitch marks visible at, at the back of her skull? You're good. So good, in fact, that you deserve a biscuit. Take your pick. Custard creams? Or bourbons? Or why not try some cakes? I have the Earth's classic Jaffa cake. Oh, they're mouldy as all hell. Well, I don't see anything wrong with them. 
Anyway, I suppose without biscuits to delay it, we'll just have to make the procedure much longer. How fun. Hey, well, now that you think about it, the uh, custard creams seem appealing. Oh, how wonderful. <laughs> oh, I'm going to regret that. <sighs> Nonsense. Well done. Now take another one. Here, take my coat. Thank you. Your friend was taken. Her... <clears throat> Her name was Molly. It was my fault. I wanted to explore this place. This... This abandoned facility belonged to a government organization. Government organization? What was going on here? It was the building for the protectors. Oh. Oh, I, I know the protectors. I've seen them recently. Do you know where they went? They went somewhere. Please, what is your name? Sandra. Who are you? I'm the doctor. Please tell me about the protectors. They were the main people behind the rumours of the Illuminati for centuries. Maybe even the last couple of millennia. When I met them, it was just one protector and his hundreds of operators. Oscar, I believe? I should have never brought Molly here. Well, you knew that she was willing. She came along with you even though it was dangerous. It's not a burden you need to carry on your shoulders. Okay. We need to find her. <sighs> Something is going on here, Sandra. My son and your friend are missing. Are we on a spaceship or something? No, it can't be. The mold and the vines indicated we are on the grind. We're in Central City. Central City? What are the protectors doing in Central City? They were always here. Wait! Ah! So observe that your civilization has advanced far. Ah. You are. Ah. I've done my research. I'm here to make a deal. Ah. Ah. Are you alright? I. I think I am. There's a block in my mind. Why is there a block there? Sorry? So many things are going on here. How did the protectors work out how to block a Time Lord's memory? And who's kidnapped Nathan? A uh, what lord's brain? Never mind that for now. Did you see who took your friend? He was an android. The Oscar units? What's the year? Um, 4260? Just after the Orion War. Perhaps that's why the protectors ran. The Oscars became part of the war. But since when did androids experiment on humans? What did he do to your friend? He uh, put something on the back of her ear and then he... Um, he drilled it into her skull. Oh, not good. I don't suppose you know what he's looking for? No. But I do know that he's a complete sadistic freak. Do you know what he asked us before he slaughtered her? What, what, what was it? Would you like some biscuits? There, there. Get it all out. Molly, loosen the restraints. We shall allow him a moment before the inevitable. You're both sick. I remember you. You're the same people who took the doctor and I to that twisted test chamber. I see my biscuits are not as effective as they used to be. Oh, what do you mean? Did you say... The Doctor? Yes. You remember what happened last time? I'm afraid I do not. I am not the same Oscar unit you encountered. Then what are you? Where is the real one? We are all real. We are all Oscar. <coughs> oh, my stomach. You will feel better soon. Where's the protector? What happened to him? It is just me now. They all left many years ago. But you knew us. You knew me and the Doctor. We have records of the Doctor from 1994 in the underground Protector City. But if the Doctor is here now... What? Molly, scan the place for life forms on the computer. Yes, sir. You've got a computer in here? We are in the 43rd century. Of course we have computers. I thought so. I remember what you did. 
You took the doctor and threw him into a maze, while some crazy guy waterboarded me and demanded information. Back for round two? Well, I'm telling you that the doctor will not take any I'm more from you, and I'll have you killed. You were going to kill me anyway. No, I was improving the human experience. I am right in your thinking that life is precious? Well, yes. Then your desperation to survive should make it clear for you to obey my commands without questions. Never turn your back when you have a prisoner with weakened restraints. Your attempts at strangling me are futile. You forget, I don't need to breathe. Oh, my stomach. You've got a really bony elbow. You'll find that I haven't any bones, actually. Exactly. Just a drone, ready to take any orders it gets. You're no better than every other creature the Doctor and I have faced over the years. That's very rude, you know. I regret giving you biscuits. For your impertinence, I think I will kill you. Don't do anything rash, Rusty. Put that down! Put that down! Yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Yeah! Ah! Ah! My yes! Yeah! Oh. Sir, are you okay? It appears not. I am afraid my central processing unit is down. I think. I may not have long left. I... I wish I had more... <laughs> you appear to have killed him. Now my plan is to... The plan is to what? I... Can you explain this to me again? It's the biscuits! Have you lost your- Mind? No. The biscuits the Oscars kept feeding me whilst I was in the maze. They are memory suppressors! Hang on. Start from the beginning. So, what biscuits? Any! He would offer custard creams, bourbons, the lot! Whatever the protectors were up to, it would be memory altering. That's just- you're mad. Either that or an alien with- you're an android, aren't you? Not an android. I understand that the war has left you paranoid, but in the event of any aftermath that threatens human life, you need to focus on rebuilding society rather than presenting hostility. How can you even do that? I don't know. But what's important is that we forget about the androids and... And? Niven? Doctor, there's some messed up things going on here. Oscar Unit 01 to Oscar 50 are activated. Intention is to give biscuits. Look! It's more of that thing. Oh lord. Would you like a biscuit? The Oscars. Don't eat their biscuits! They have memory suppressors. That's why I had trouble remembering them. Doctor, there's a computer in this sort of control room area. I think it could shut these things down. Lead the way, Nathan. Once we've done this, we can find this girl, Sandra's friend. Then let's go. Molly! Oh my god. Oh my god. Calm down. Calm down. Doctor, are you okay? I... I don't know. Something feels r very wrong. It's... it's something wrong with time. This is a full event collapse, Nathan. What does that mean? Time is falling in on itself. This is what's causing the TARDIS to crash in the Time Vortex. Would you like, would you like to get skipped? Why are the Oscars like that? An awakening army. Their wiring must have gone wrong when Lord Oscar Protestant died. Who's that? The leader. I met him. So long ago, I think. Uh, whatever is happening, it's created a block in my mind. Hi. The incoming paradox that we're seeing now. We need to get away from the Oscars. We were taken by those things, but what for? It doesn't matter. What matters is we need to get out of here and fix this. 
We need- let's get back to the TARDIS! Look, there's a cabinet cover in the back door. Let's move it now! No, you sit down. This is affecting you, and you need to rest. Crap, the doors are rusted shut. Would you like a biscuit? Use this. Use this, Nathan. The Sonic. I wrote the lock. What's wrong with you? I'm a time sensitive. What do you mean? A time sensitive as... Being around paradoxes that have interacted with my timeline. Especially important individuals can be damaging. Got it! Great. Nathan, please help me up, please. Of course. Lean on me. Let's go. Where is the TARDIS? I really... I really can't think. What does your ship look like? A blue box. Like that blue box at the end of the corridor. It's it's a bit small. You genius. I'm not much of a genius if I just let my friend die. Don't talk like that. What the hell? It's bigger on Shut the- Shut the door. Let go of me, Nathan. I can take it from here. No, you can't. Tell me what I need to do. Not much time. We need to use the telepathic circuits. Why? We need to put this right. Wrong panel. Go left. What now? Put your hand on the controls and think of the operators. Think of the place that we were kept in. Think of the pain you went through. And more importantly, think of the time. It must be in the past. It's really, uh... It really is doing it to him, this, uh... Paradox. Well... I'm doing it! Will my friend live? I'm really not sure what's gonna happen. Discipline is needed in the young. It's the only thing that'll tame them. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'll tell you, just don't do that. Oh my god, this place is a bit unstable. And you should see when the doctor's flaying it. <laughs> oh. You're gonna need this. What's the metal pipe for? Protection. I can't lose you. I know, Doc. I'll be careful. If any luck, you'll be around here. All you need to do is touch. That'll sort out the time differentials. How do you know it'll work? I've had some experience in the past. But this breaks every rule you've ever made. What are rules for? I did that with Regeneration. I did that in Soltron 7. Soltron 7? A story best saved for another time. Listen, Nathan. Only you can do this. Time sensitives can't short out a paradox if they meet themselves because time repairs around them. Thanks to residual Artron energy. Oh, okay, okay. Can I come? <sighs> Fine, come on. Hey, do you think our new arrivals will like my biscuits? I'm certain! They are well baked! The doctor will be here soon. We must keep his companion occupied with biscuits. Don't you dare. Oi, Nathan, get back here. What about me? They're honestly awful. Who was that? How rude of- Wait! You're not meant to be out here. Yeah! Oh dear, get away! Get away! Don't you think you're getting away from me? Right. Let's go. Anyway, enjoy your you time. I'll see you in an hour. Who are you? I am the protector. Good day, Nathan Chase. That's him. The protector. What does that mean? It means my younger self is in there. All we need to do is go in and grab his hand. Let's go in. I'm unconscious. God, perhaps I'd have preferred not to remember. Don't talk like that. Experience make us who we are. You are stronger now than you have ever been in spite of this. <sighs> so I just need to grab his hand, then... It gets solved. Will this have even happened, or will it just be a memory? I have no idea, but we need to save Molly. Yes. Here goes nothing. 
Mm, what's going on? Where are we? I think time is changing. Oh my god, help! Oh, are, are you okay? I feel really bad. Whatever that was didn't feel good. Where are we? An underground city? Look at that symbol on the main building. Our Lord Protector. This is the Protector City. Just like Oscar said earlier. We're in 1994. 1994? The Protectors weren't around back then. Well, it seems they were. How are we here? Uh, of course. This paradox will wipe out the timeline we were just in. This version of you won't exist. Will... will I... Will I remember this? I don't know. It's so complicated. And I'll cease to exist? I don't know how this works. I'm sorry. I don't know who you are. Either of you. I haven't the faintest idea. But... I do know that this experience will change you and... Whoever you become, my life doesn't matter. I fail to protect my friend, but that's not the point now. If it means me, right now, dying for that same friend so they can live, then I'll do it. That's that's all I care about. This, this doctor, who is he to you? He's my dad. He's a good man. He has made you who you are, and if you want to honour him, then you'll carry on and don't give a damn about me. He's your protector. He's more than that. He's my father. Oh my god. The city is blowing up. Yeah, I noticed, but why? Maybe this is how the timeline is always meant to be. The rocks, they're gonna hit us. Watch out! Watch out, Sandra! You did it! Nathan, I can remember everything! Where is she? Back in her normal time and place. But well done. The timeline is back on track like it always should have been. Where was I? Sorry? I was in the cave. There was a city. The Protector City. Yes, I'm familiar with it. That's how the timeline should have been. Now it's all been saved. And what was meant to happen? The Protectors were wiped in 1994 of their own doing. They had gone back in time to avert a crisis which I was able to stop in my very, very far past. Right? But due to the nature of this crisis, a bit of their group were able to bleed through the cracks in the weaves of time, allowing them to capture us like they did before. And that never happened now? Never happened. The reign of the Protectors ended in 1994, thousands of years before the events we just experienced. How can we remember it? We're time travellers, Nathan. It's our curse. Yeah. Can we go back to Earth? I really need to see Amber. Of course, Nathan. But get some rest. You've just been crossing timelines. You'll need to sell yourself. How can you handle this in your stride? You'll get used to it, my boy. Now, get some rest. Where's Sandra? Did she live? She most certainly did. Can we see her? Maybe one day. Perhaps there's a little bit of leeway. Are you sure about this, Sandra? This place smells like blood. Molly, I've been here hundreds of times, and I'm alive and talking to you. It smells like this because of the metal rusting. I don't know about this. This place has been abandoned for years, Molly. Just chill out. Why did you think this was a good idea? Hey, look what I found. What is it? It's a note. It reads, Molly, Sandra, we hope you remember us. Best wishes, Nathan and the Doctor. Who? I have absolutely no idea. 